Ghana says no to cardiovascular diseases. With multiple top-notch and world-class hospitals opening and offering cutting-edge healthcare to not just Ghanaians, but also to the entire continent of Africa, as well as to Asia and America, Ghana is rapidly developing into the medical powerhouse of Africa. Another piece of good news for Ghana's healthcare system is the donation of millions of dollars to the construction of a brand new ultra-modern cardiothoracic center by Honorable Kennedy Oene Ajipong, one of the county's most prominent politicians and benefactors. This new clinic and other specialist institutions of this caliber are desperately needed to guarantee that the typical Ghanaian will receive high-quality health care, so this charitable act is more than justified at this time. Stick to this video to the end as we look at this ultra-modern hospital under construction. Before we begin, please subscribe to Africa Reloaded if you are new. And also tell us in the comments section what you think of this philanthropic gesture of this politician and what politicians in your country do with their money. As always, we will appreciate a like on this video. Let's ride on. On Thursday, June 22, 2021, Kennedy Owine Ajipong, the Member of Parliament for Assen Central, sold the land for the development of an 80-bed cardiothoracic center at the 37 Military Hospital in Accra. Kennedy Ohene Anjapon is renowned for taking a clear and unapologetic stance on a variety of issues. But during the past 20 years, he has developed a reputation as one of the nation's kindest and most giving politicians. Over the years, he has donated too many different areas of the nation, such as security, religion, education, and healthcare. The shortcut and ceremony followed a promise the Member of Parliament made in 2020 when he presented personal protective materials to the 37 military hospital in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition to other crucial facilities, the treatment center will have a conference room, an academic training center, two operating rooms, an executive clinic, a dialysis unit, an x-ray unit, a robotic unit, a pharmacy, and an outpatient department. The construction and completing of the facility, which would have cost $3 million, would now cost $6 million, according to the Honorable Kennedy Oene Ajipong. He admitted in the journal that the project was supposed to be finished by 2022, but sadly, that didn't happen. But he gave the Ghanaian people his word that the center would be equipped with current technology and be ready by the end of the year. When it is finished, the facility will join the National Cardiothoracic Center at Kurlobu Teaching Hospital, which is the only cardio center now servicing the nation and neighboring African nations. It will provide specialist diagnostics and treatments for persons with cardiovascular and respiratory disorders, as well as possibilities for medical professionals to engage in specialized training and research. The facility will have, among other things, a cutting-edge theater, radiography, and cardiac capital labs. The need for such a center was sparked by the discovery that despite the great demand, only a few African nations are equipped to provide specialized heart health treatments. He continued by saying that the necessary infrastructure and human resources were lacking. Although though Ghana possesses a facility of similar type, it still required an upgraded facility to supplement it and give enhanced services according to research, there isn't much that can be done to lower the prevalence of congenital cardiac abnormalities. So, a large number of people will continue to need such quick and trustworthy surgical intervention. Hence, the nation must get ready to concentrate its efforts on improving the nation's capability in that area of healthcare, which explains the project's enormous relevance. Due to its commitment to serving as one of the first places people turn when calamity strikes, the 37 Military Hospital was a strategic host of the facility. President Nana Akufo Addo, who was pleased with the Kennedy Ohin Ajipong Initiative, visited the site on February 1, 2023, to check on the status of the work that had been done. He said that Kennedy Ajipong's generosity will serve as a one stop facility for the treatment of cardiovascular problems and was of enormous value to the nation's healthcare system. He emphasizes that the facility would help build up human ability to handle cases at the center and says that all Ghanaians will typically gain from this project. Seth Amoma, the Chief of Defense Staff, 
also expressed his gratitude to the MP for the nice gesture, citing the project's importance to gaining healthcare. Hopefully, this cardiac center will be operational shortly. We will bring you all update on this amazing project in the subsequent weeks. So to follow up with this, please subscribe to Africa Reloaded. As always, remember to like this video so that this channel will grow and we will be able to bring more developmental projects in Ghana and Africa. Please turn on the notification bell to get alerts of newly released videos on this channel.